Green with the latest now in the race for the White House. Just six days to go into the first presidential debate between Vice President Kamala Harris and Donald Trump. Rachel Scott is tracking the Trump campaign. First, let's start with Chief White House Correspondent Mary Bruce, who's covering the Harris campaign. Good morning, Mary. Good morning, George. Well, Kamala Harris today is out trying to bring her economic policy vision into focus. She's going to be in New Hampshire today, where she'll be outlining her plan to help small businesses and encourage entrepreneurship by expanding tax deductions for startup costs tenfold from $5,000 to $50,000. She will also announce efforts to reduce red tape and ease regulations, including creating a standard deduction for small businesses. Now, this is all part of Harris's goal to help start 25 million small businesses if elected. Then for the rest of the week, we expect her to be largely off of the campaign trail as she gets ready for the debate next week. But she's taking the unusual step of hunkering down in a key battleground. She will be in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, studying up for her first ever face-to-face -face encounter with Donald Trump. This gives her the ability, the campaign says, to get out there and do some informal campaigning while also studying up. Now, sources tell us she has already been doing some mock debates. Her plan here is to try and not get bogged down, not, not get down any rabbit holes, but to really focus on the issue issues, pivot and attack Trump. She's going to try and rehearse, you know, how to how to keep cool, how to stay calm while also going after Trump. And yes, George also trying to get under his skin. No question about that. Let's take a look. Thank you, Mary. Let's go. Let's go to Rachel Scott. Of course, is tracking the Trump campaign, not one for traditional debate prep. <laughs> yeah, Donald Trump, George, has never been a fan of any formal traditional debate prep. So I'm told there will be no mock debates for the former president. Instead, he is reviewing policy with a small group of advisors. And his campaign has brought on former Congresswoman Tulsi Gabbard. You may remember she was once a rival to Vice President Kamala Harris during the 2020-2019 Democratic primary election. She challenged her on that debate stage. This is shaping up to be the most consequential moment of this campaign. But this is not the face-off that Donald Trump wanted. He wanted to run against President Biden, especially after his first performance in that debate. And since Biden has exited the race, Trump has really had a hard time trying to define Vice President Harris. His advisors, close allies of the former president, have been urging him to steer away from those personal attacks, stay focused on the message and those critical issues, especially the ones where he has an edge on Harris, immigration, crime, the economy. The former president will be doing a town hall later today. He's delivering remarks on the economy in New York tomorrow, then holding a rally in Wisconsin this this weekend, but even those who are close to Trump admit they don't know which version of him is going to show up on that debate stage next week, George. It will be a big night. Okay, Rachel, thanks very much. Of course, you can see the debate on Tuesday night right here on ABC.